This is section 4.3. Uh, we're going to be optimizing and model, uh, modeling, which means we're going to find mins and maxes of functions based off of story problems. In the first one, we have a square of side x inches is cut out of each corner of a 10 inch by 20 inch piece of cardboard and the sides are folded up to form an open top box. Figure out the dimensions of the box that will give us a maximum volume and state what the maximum volume will be. Well, we're going to start out with a, a flat piece of cardboard. So here's our court cardboard, here's the flat piece, and we're going to cut out squares in the corners. And since they're squares, we can label all the sides with the same variable. So we'll pick our favorite variable x. And the length is 20 inches, and the, uh, the width is 10 inches. Now the volume of a box, or the volume of a rectangular solid, is uh, length times width times height. And in our case, the length is 20 inches, that's a 2, 20 inches, and we're cutting out an x on each side. So the length is 20 minus 2x. Uh, the width is 10 minus 2x. And if we were to fold along this line here, the height of the box would be x. Now we need to multiply this function out. So v of x equals, uh, let's see, 200 minus 40x minus 20x and then plus 4x squared. All that times x. So we have 4 x to the third minus um, 60 x squared and then plus 200 x. And we are asked to find the maximum volume. Well in order to maximize a function to find the maximum value we need to take the derivative and set it equal to zero. So we have v prime of x equals 12 x squared minus 120 x plus 200. Uh, I don't think you can factor this. We could take out, um, can we take out a 6? We can take out a 2 at least. 6x squared minus 60x plus 100. Uh, another 2. 3x squared minus 30x plus 50. And that's as uh, basic as we can get it. And, uh, well, we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve this. So we get values of x equals 7.887 and x equals 2.113. Now, the x values can't be 7.887 because if you plug, well, let's just call it 7. If you plug 7 in for x, then we're going to have 10 minus 14, and we can't have a negative value for the side of a box. So this one works mathematically, but if we apply it to the story problem, it's, it doesn't make any sense. So if we look at the question, it says, find out the dimensions of the box that will give us a maximum volume. So I need to plug 2.133 in for x's. So I have a calculator here, uh, and I'm going to plug in those values. After plugging in 2.113 in for the x's, we get 15.774 as the length, 5.774 as the width, and 2.113 as the height. And then to find the maximum volume, state the maximum volume, when we multiply these three numbers together, we get 192.450 inches cubed. Suppose Louisville Slugger realized that for every million bats they produce, the revenue created and cost of producing these bats is given by the following functions. X represents the number of bats produced in millions. R of X and C of X are in millions of dollars. So the revenue, the money we bring in, is represented by 9X, and the cost to produce the bats is x to the third minus 6x squared plus 15. And Well, if we want to maximize the profit that our company's making, uh, we take the revenue, r of x, and we minus uh, out the cost to make the bats, so minus c of x. So there's our profit. Well, if we want to maximize the profit, 
you take the derivative of the function. So the, pro, uh, the derivative will be r prime of x minus c prime of x. And then when we take the derivative, we always set it equal to zero uh, to find the maximums and the minimums. So the derivative of r is nine, and the derivative of c is three x squared, and then uh, when we distribute the negative through, that'll be plus 12x and then minus 15. So our function we want to maximize is negative 3x squared plus 12x minus 6. Now I'm going to plug this, this into the quadratic formula and get two values. And when we plug that in the quadratic formula, we get 3.414. and we get x equals 0.586. Now remember these values, one is actually going to be a minimum and one's going to be a maximum. They're not both going to be maximums because the derivative is a quadratic. So if we plot these two x coordinates, or the, these two x intercepts, we get 0.586 and 3.414. This is a parabola that opens down Now remember, this represents p prime, so it re represents the derivative. And so when the graph changes from negative to positive, negative to positive on the original function, this actually creates a minimum, and positive to negative, increasing to decreasing, this actually creates the maximum. So we will make a maximum profit when we make 3.414 million bats. You are to design a one liter oil can shaped like a right circular cylinder and minimize the amount of material used. Find the dimensions of this cylinder. So we're looking at a cylinder here. And we have uh, a radius and a height. So we start out with volume. So the volume of the cylinder equals pi r squared times the height. And we are asked to minimize the amount of material used. So that's surface area. So the surface area of the cylinder is, uh, let's see, we have 2 pi r squared plus, and then if we made a cut in the cylinder and laid it out flat, it would create a rectangle. The top would be circumference. So 2 pi r, and then this would be the height. So the surface area of the lateral surface area, we call that, is 2 pi r h. We are told that the volume is 1,000 centimeters cubed, so we're going to use 1,000 for the volume. That's equal to pi r squared h. And we want to find the dimensions of the cylinder that uh, will use the minimum amount of material. So I need to solve for one of these variables. How about uh, we solve for h? So h equals pi, actually h equals, whoops, let me undo that. Get the little eraser. So h equals 1,000 divided by pi r squared. Now we're going to take that value and plug it in over in the h, because we want to minimize the surface area used. So we have 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times 1,000 over pi r squared. So the new surface area function in just one variable instead of two equals 2 pi r squared plus, well, the pi's are going to cancel out, and one of the r's is going to cancel out. So we have 2,000 over r. Now we want to minimize this function, so we're going to take the derivative of the surface area function. And so we have 4 pi r minus 2,000 over r squared. So we have surface area is the derivative. Uh, we need a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this side by r squared over the top and the bottom. So we have 4 pi r to the third minus 2,000 all over r squared. And then we need to set this equal to 0. And we need uh, to make a fraction 0, the top has to be 0. 
So we have 4 pi r cubed minus 2,000. We want that to be equal to 0. So we have 4 pi r to the third equal 2,000. Uh, r to the third equals, let's see, 2,000 divided by 4 is 500 over pi. And then finally, r is going to be the third root of 500 over pi. And that value is 5.42. So r equals 5.42. And we have, that's going to be in centimeters. But what's the question? What are we asked to do? Find the dimensions of this cylinder. So we have what r is. Remember, r is 5.42 centimeters. We have the radius. Now we need the height. And if I plug this value in for r squared, the height equals 1,000 over pi times 5.42 squared. And that value is 10.84. H is 10.84. Find two numbers whose sum is 20 and the product is as large as possible. Whose sum is 20. Find two numbers whose sum is 20. So X plus Y equals 20 and product is as large as possible. So the product equals XY. Well, I want to get this in one variable. So I have Y equals 20 minus X. And I can plug 20 minus x in for the y over here. So the product is x times 20 minus x. So the product equals 20x minus x squared. Now to maximize this product, we take the derivative, 20 minus 2x, and set this equal to 0. 0 equals 20 minus 2x minus 20 and divide by negative 2, so x equals 10. So x equals 10, and if, the, if uh, the sum is 20, then y must be 10 as well.